This year, as we remember the heroic struggles of workers in May 1886 in Chicago, when demanding an eight-hour working day in their quest for a quality life, we also, at the same time, celebrate the WFTU's 75 year of unbroken struggle for workers' rights and against capitalism and imperialism. Today, the world is confronted by complex and difficult challenges which affirms the inability of capitalism to respond to the same crisis it created. The social, political, economic and financial crisis, including the sense of hopelessness engulfing the world at the present moment, precedes the COVID-19. As we remember May Day today, we must recognize and applaud frontline workers for their high esteem contribution in the fight against COVID-19 as a dark cloud hangs over the future of millions of workers throughout the world. Many workers across many branches of industry stand to lose their jobs and livelihoods as a result of these financial difficulties brought about by the economic shutdown in many parts of the world in the fight against this pandemic. At the same time, in many other parts of the world, workers in non-essential sectors risk being infected with a deadly virus by being forced to work to satisfy the greedy company owners whose preoccupation is the maximization of profit amidst COVID-19. As TUI Public Service and Allied, we stand in solidarity with all workers in the non-essential sectors in defense of their rights, jobs and livelihoods. The non-essential sectors in the context of COVID-19 refers to sectors that are not integral part to the direct fight against the spread of the COVID-19 during these lockdowns. All productive sectors of economy are essential for the maintenance and reproduction of society. In this regard, we pay tribute to all workers of the world who are engaged in the human struggle to remove capitalist barbarism. The challenges we faced are not going to disappear when the virus is finally brought under control. All indication points to one reality, that the world economy is going into a recession due to pre-existing in building capitalist shortcomings made by the effects of measures taken to combat COVID-19. This means that the existing problems of the unemployment, poverty, inequality in the world are going to worsen immediately after COVID-19 crisis. As TUI Public Service and Allied, we echo the call made by our mother body, the WFTU, in its May Day statement to our brothers and sisters, employed and unemployed, retires, immigrants and refugees, young scientists, indigenous people, women and men, to stand together in the forefront of struggles against the complex difficulties we face by combining our ability to fight for abolition of social exploitation. TUI Public Service and Allied takes the opportunity of the May Day to salute the heroic and selfless contribution of Cuban people in the fight against coronavirus through the invaluable support they provided to many countries in the world by providing their medical brigades and medical innovations. We also condemn the destabilizing and instigated imperialist war in Yemen, Syria and Libya, and the unjust U.S. sanctions against the people of Cuba, Venezuela and Iran. Our solidarity with the people of occupied Palestine remains resolute against the Zionist Israel state. Indeed, all these crimes of capitalism and imperialism impedes the fight against COVID-19 and the struggle for socialism. No one should be alone. Long live proletarian internationalism. Long live May Day. The struggle continues, a luta continua.